Hey everyone, I'm Nick and welcome to TechSquare. It's been almost a year when Samsung and AMD announced a strategic partnership to produce ultra-low-power, high-performance mobile graphics based on AMD Radeon graphics technology. As part of the partnership, AMD will license custom graphics IP based on recently announced highly scalable RDNA graphics architecture to Samsung for future smartphones and other products that complement AMD product offering. Basically, the deal means that Samsung will focus on advanced graphics technologies and solutions to enhance innovation in the mobile market with AMD RDNA technology. But after the deal, it's been almost a year and we haven't heard much on the future development of that partnership. Last year, Samsung laid off their Mongoose custom CPU core division in the US. The Mongoose cores were mainly used in its flagship Exynos processors. By now, it's apparent that Exynos chips are inferior to Qualcomm Snapdragon processors. Although Samsung were able to keep that fact relatively hidden, but it became more apparent with performance gap in the S20 series. Anyways, Samsung being in a dire situation with their Exynos SoC is looking for a way to make their Exynos chips compete against Qualcomm's chips. A new report indicates that the upcoming 5nm Exynos 1000 CPU for next year will feature the new GPU based on AMD's technology. The chip is currently referred as RDNA Exynos as there is no name set or had been announced by Samsung. Although, according to Samsung's latest earnings call, the company is still two years down the road from the launch of the company's RDNA-based GPU. This indicates the GPU is likely to appear in 2021 with Exynos 1000 chips. However, a poster on South Korean tech forum client claims that the Radeon-based GPU crashed Qualcomm's Adreno 650 in a GFX bench test. The GPU apparently scored 181.8 FPS on the Manhattan 3.1 test beating the Adreno 650 GPU found on the Snapdragon 865 processor, which had a score of 157.7 FPS on the test. The unnamed RDNA GPU performed 13% higher than the Adreno GPU. Meanwhile, in another test named Azitec, Samsung's AMD GPU had a score of 138.25 FPS on normal and 58 FPS on high. Compared to Samsung's AMD GPU, Qualcomm's Adreno GPU scored 53.65 FPS on normal and 20.38 FPS on high, which translates to roughly three times higher performance by the Samsung's AMD GPU on RDNA technology compared to Qualcomm's Adreno 650 GPU, which is pretty amazing and the level of power that is unheard of. Qualcomm has been dominating the mobile GPU market for quite some time now, especially with their Adreno GPU on their SoCs. Meanwhile, the Mali GPU has been playing second fiddle to Qualcomm's Adreno GPU for quite some time now. But Samsung's AMD Radeon GPU is certainly showing a promise of new heights in mobile gaming GPU. It is being rumored that when optimized, the new chip would even outperform Apple's next-generation A14 class CPU. Although something we should note that the alleged benchmark scores are only rumors and there is no confirmation of those benchmarks to be Samsung's AMD GPU. And since the GPU is still a year away from us, there is no way of confirming this as of yet. However, it is still invigorating to think such height can be achieved in mobile graphics. There is also new speculation that Nintendo could be another biggest customer besides Samsung of the new combination of Exynos CPU and AMD GPU. Nintendo previously used Nvidia's Tegra X1 which is now aging, but since Nvidia could not make any progress in consumer ARM chips, Nintendo is left to search elsewhere for a better and powerful ARM chip. Although the gaming giant hasn't publicly expressed any intention to have a new Switch, but eventually that day will arrive. And thus, the speculation of Nintendo to use Exynos chip with AMD RDNA GPU arose. But CPU performance is more important than GPU. Since Samsung fired their custom core division, it is speculated that going forward, Samsung will use ARM stock core. Snapdragon also uses ARM stock cores, but they make in-house modification and customizes the cores for higher performance, which is known as the cryo cores. ARM recently announced their Cortex A78 cores, which supposedly offers 20% increase in performance than A77 cores. But even with that performance boost, Samsung is never going to able to beat Qualcomm. Although great news for Samsung is that ARM has also unveiled a brand new high-performance Cortex X1 cores alongside the Cortex A78 cores. These new cores are apparently going to offer twice more performance compared to the newly announced Cortex A78 cores. Since Snapdragon and Apple both has their custom cores, Samsung will be the first one to adopt the X1 cores into their Exynos SoCs, which will finally give Samsung the performance edge they have been looking for so much over the years. 
Exynos chip combined with powerful Cortex X1 cores and RDNA Exynos GPU is going to offer far better CPU and GPU performance than any other Exynos chip before. And the combined might of these two technologies might make Samsung the next powerhouse for mobile gaming hardware. Anyways, that's all for our today's video. Hit like if you like the video and share with your friends. Comment below to let us know what you think on Samsung and AMD partnership. Consider subscribing to this channel for more videos like this and press the bell icon to get notified for our future videos.